Well, uh, today I want to present you uh, a lighting design uh, for a corridor. Um, I have already created the space in uh, Dialux Evo. So if you don't have um, a DVG file, um, then you can create um, easily by yourself the space based on the, on the dimension um, of your space by just a click on the room planning. As mentioned uh, early, I have already defined my, my space, so I just click on it and it will automatically load on the Deluxe Evo. Um, and then I will, um, I will present you the space. Uh, the corridor is, I choose this topic because it's very, uh, being a transit area mm -hmm. and being presented in all the commercial buildings and as well in uh, all the <clears throat> office buildings um, it's it's like, let's say it's very important uh, space and very often um, encounter so therefore i said okay um, it would be good to have um, a lighting design for for a corridor area so i will start with um, the two division um, my space has a five point four meter if i'm correct oh sorry just one more time so it's <clears throat> the length 5.4 uh width 2.4 meters and um, height i place it on uh, 2.8 meters and if i go on the assess area um, you see that i changed the name in the corridor you see the height of a space um, important it's also to active the utilization profile so this means the space which is a uh, i choose the general areas application here you don't find the corridor i i said it establishes entry holes but you can maybe uh, choose for example a different uh building like you go in the office building and then you have also um, a corridor let's let's try it this way um so going for example in the office and then uh, here actually we do we do not have any um any um application which is related to the to the corridor and then let's move maybe in the in the school uh, let's see If not, I will just go back on yeah general areas as I mentioned early, and I just use this one entrance holes, and it's automatically um, the visual task area. It's 100 lugs. You see where it's established and height of working plan. It's 0.8 meters. So these are the um, <clears throat> a couple of characteristics which you need to um, fulfill when you establish the lighting design for um for a corridor area uh, i want to also the, let's say on educational buildings let's see if we can see here that we have more spaces uh here like circular area corridors let's let's choose this one in the end the value is the same 100 lungs uh and also let's see the height of working plan it's on the floor level so this is on zero meters which usually uh this in this way i was establishing uh, the lighting parameters for a corridor area okay so after we we establish also the lighting parameters which we need to fulfill it's um, let's have a look on the 3d aspect so yeah it's not a big space i put also three windows on on one side and then i said of course you have being a transit area you have one door in the, on the let's say on the right or left and i said okay another two doors can be uh, located to different uh, different rooms inside which is connected uh, which are connected by by this corridor um, moving on to the lighting uh, my advice is to to try to avoid uh, uh, the let's say the effect of the uh, of which you you encounter in the in the uh, lighting for the tunnel so <clears throat> i will so show you what i mean i will just uh, use one of the products <clears throat> sorry um 
from from my library mm, let's see if we place this one so <clears throat> one to, I want to highlight is try to avoid a continuous line when you mean uh, when you design a lighting um, for uh, for a corridor so if you place like these two luminaires you know you have like the uh, tunnel light I, I, I will say and I what I mean is yeah if you go like this you know then you have if it's a long corridor in this case it's just 5.4 but if you have like I don't know let's say 10 meters and you, you go with these lighting features all the way then you have like a, tu uh, a tunnel um, appearance as you maybe you know already and you have seen already the lighting design in different tunnels usually you have a, lo a lot of continuous lines and then it's just uh, i say a, really a boring I, I would say it like this uh, uh lighting design of course it's um uh, it's designed for the safety and um uh, encountering all the all the lighting um let's say parameter requirements but I would say when you have uh, indoor and you can choose a different luminaires, I would just say avoid this kind of situation to go with linear lighting fixtures for a corridor, just to avoid this effect. Okay, now showing the, let's say, what to not do, I will just uh, go back to the library and I will say, let's start with downlight. So the first solution, uh, when we have is use downlights. First is recessed, so you don't see it. So it's very elegant and clean ceiling. I would say when you when you have um, when you when you can use um, when you can use a downlight. So now let's put three luminaires, and as you can see it, you know, recessed, so very smooth inside of the ceiling, and let's start the lighting simulation and see the, the the outcome that will come um another feature i want to to do a comparison um with um, corridor lighting i would say you can use the downlight but as well you can use the let's say recessed um, uh, 600 by 600 this also can be a solution um let's see the result the outcome so way above the the 100 so we are on 400 so it's too much actually right and also we have a a good a good uni uniformity i would say it's all point um uh, max is 0 0.5 so total is 0 0.62 so this is well very it's a very good solution as i said and uh, it looks much better if you if you use this this kind of um, this kind of solution for the, for a corridor so my i would say downlights is the first preference for um for a corridor um here if you want to just use two of course you can use a uh, luminous which or downlight which has a, a lower lumen package I think this one, my my gut feeling is too high. For example, you say it's three thousand one hundred lumen, so of course then you have too much light. But here I will say we can also adjust the lumen. So I will say let's put one thousand five hundred lumen output, and then we start all over again. It's just to give you a hint. Of course, you will uh, you will not change the lumen uh, flux in an existing feature. You just choose that lumen uh, that luminaire with uh, the proper uh, lumen uh, package. So here you see on one thousand five hundred, even even this one, it's it's still too high. So yeah. As I said, we need a lower lumen package to to have. I will say one thousand five hundred and three downlights will do this without any problems. 
So that's my, my recommendation related to this space. Um, next, let's see this one. I think it's also too, too high. Yeah, it's the same. I try to find a less powerful downlight. Let's, let's choose this one, for example. Let's see, yeah, this is 2000 lumen stainless. Will be if you want to replace, is you just click here, replace selected luminaires, and then you just click on the, the luminaire which you you would like to be introduced in uh, in the calculation. And here you just after you have already introduced the new luminaires, you just um, um, click the start button for the for the lighting design and let's see the outcome if we choose uh, a different downlight with a lower lumen uh, package so now yeah perfect so this is, will be practically the solution for us so 136 um, lux level um, and uniform will be all point 65 so this is what we need for for this space and if you want to go for a six by six as i mentioned again you just select um sorry you just select the two luminaires then replace selected luminaires and then it's opening automatically um let's say library with um with luminous which you have been used and here I will just select one by, by default apply of course this will be a little bit too much light I will say because I see it's 2800 lumen so the downlights will be of 2000 lumen it's okay to use two if you want to use three luminaires, uh, then uh, I would say I would recommend a lumen package of 1500 lumen output. And let's see the, res the results. So you have is to height also in this case. So you will need we need a, a lower um, lumen package of the 600 by 600. So let's see. Yeah, the result. Yeah, so that's that's a simple that's a simple let's say um, example of how you can which type of luminance can be used for for a corridor for a general lighting uh, for a transit area which you can find in all the commercial buildings. In this case, we are talking about a corridor. This is easiest way how to establish the lighting solution. So. Um, if you want to see the true fault colors, it's very nice to related to uniformity. We are around to 100 to 200 lux. Yeah, so it's looking very, very good in this case. So yeah, that was all um, for today related to the lighting design for a corridor. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please give a like will help me with the algorithm on, uh, on my YouTube channel and stay tuned, um, more videos uh, will come. Have a good day. Bye-bye.